Hi everyone, it's Dominic here and today I'm going to be talking about Japanese uniforms because this is a video that has been requested by quite a few of you and also because I've never actually really talked about it in a dedicated video before. So uh, yeah, as you can see here it is. Um, this is my school uniform. It's a very sort of military like uniform so I've got buttons running down all the way from the top to the bottom of the jacket and I'm just wearing plain black sort of suit trousers. Underneath this, I just have an ordinary white shirt. I'm just going to undo the top button because it's kind of really uncomfortable. And usually in school, like, people walk around like <laughs> like this without it done up because it is really, really tight. Because there's like a little hook at the top to keep it all joined together. So the types of uniforms I've seen in schools, um, you have this type, which is one of them. And then also you have like the Western style, which is with a normal blazer and a tie and a shirt. Um, my school doesn't have a tie, it's just a plain white shirt underneath with nothing really. Um, and in terms of like strictness, my school, I'm lucky I guess, my school isn't really that strict on uniform. The only thing is you have to come into school wearing a uniform and you have to leave school wearing a uniform. You can't like come to school wearing whatever you like or anything. But once you're in the school they don't actually care what you wear. So a lot of people actually come to school wearing like sweaters because at the moment it is really cold. It's like zero degrees so because of that people come in wearing like sweaters underneath their uniforms and then once they get in like they change into something warm or something and they don't mind as long as you're wearing your uniform once you go in the school like sorry as long as you're wearing a uniform to go into the school and to leave the school everything is fine so in terms of the shoes i wear going to school they don't actually care what you wear i think there is actually a set school shoe like a black sort of shiny shoe that very few people i've, I've seen very few people wear them but yeah, you can wear those or you can wear sort of whatever you like. I just wear normal trainers because they're also the school yeah, they're also the shoes that I use in PE. So it's easier for me to just well, it's more convenient for me to bring those into school rather than another pair of shoes. So I bring those in and change into my wabaki once I get into the school. And the wabaki are like the plimsolls or the slippers that you walk around inside the school. Because when you're walking around inside school, you're not allowed to walk around in normal shoes. You have to wear your slippers. So the slippers are sort of color-coded based on the year you're in. I'm in second year, so mine are red. But the first years are green and the third year are blue. So you wear those and you have your uniform. And that is all there is to say about the uniform. I think also quickly, I don't know if you can see these. If I, I don't know if it will let me zoom in. Is it going to focus? I don't think it's going to focus. But basically, this is the crest of the school, and it is on every single button. And also, as well, at the top, there is another one here. And that is sort of like the main way you're able to actually distinguish between the different types of schools. Because there's so many of the schools have the exact same uniform, you don't actually know what school people go to. So you have to kind of look really close to the buttons and see, like, if they have the same crest as you or if it's not the crest. So, yeah. Um, in terms of my PE kit, though, I have it here so I can show you. Um... This is what I am wearing at the moment. Um, as you can see, there's like a sort of, I don't even, I don't even know what you call it in the front. Um, this sort of like paper square, or this sort of paper square in the front is called a Zeke. And it has, as you can see, it says 2142. So the 21 stands for, I'm in second year, I'm in class one, and 42 is my student number. So I'm the 42nd person in the class. And underneath it has my name, and then on the back, it has the exact same thing. So everyone will wear these type of, everyone wears these shirts for P, their P lessons, and then the shorts we wear are like this. So as you can see, it's red because I'm in the second year. So yeah. And of course, first years are green, third year are blue. Also the shoes that you wear, um, the indoor shoes that we wear have to be like, you buy different shoes based on the year you're in. So obviously I have red indoor shoes use in the what's it called sports hall so in the sports hall we're not allowed to run around in like the normal shoes that we use outside so the school the shoes i come to school with i'm not allowed to use those in the sports hall because it's an inside thing so inside you have indoor shoes outside you have outdoor shoes your outdoor shoes are the ones i bring to school indoor shoes are the red ones um and yeah that is all there is to say about japanese uniform i think um, it is quite different from the uniform that I used to wear in England. Um, up until 16 in the UK, you have, like, the school you go to will have different uniforms. Um, in my school, we had, like, a blazer, a tie, a shirt. And once I got to 
once I was 16, from 16 to 18, um, we just had to go to school wearing like a normal suit, like a dark grey black suit with our school tie. So yeah, it is quite, it is quite different, but it's not like, I mean, the main difference really is the blazer and the fact that we don't have a tie and also they're not very strict on the uniform. But yeah, hopefully this was interesting and now you know what a Japanese uniform looks like for boys because usually you see like the girls ones and yeah the girls ones as well I've seen they have two different types they have sort of ones you see in anime with like all the ribbons and then you also have the ones which I guess are kind of more western with ties and blazers and stuff so yeah hopefully you found this video informative and I hope you liked it and I'll see you all soon <laughs> bye thanks for watching